Macintosh here. In today's video, we're going to talk about a big problem that's happening if you have an iPhone or an iPad running iOS 14 beta number four. This message that you can see on the screen right now actually started coming up not even one or two days ago, and it is plaguing users and it will not go away. Every time you unlock the phone, this message will come up. So it is really annoying most of the beta users that are testing out this update. In this video, I'm gonna go over what we can do to get rid of it from a super simple way for a temporary thing to some more advanced ways to get this taken care of. Let's jump right into it. Interestingly enough, this is not a new issue. This has happened two years ago on iOS 12. Let's take a look at that. Look at this. It looks like this method in Springboard does come with a date and time calculations to determine if the current build is about to expire. Every time the cover sheet gets us dismissed, for some reason, latest bills of iOS 12 think they're about to expire. And it looks like this, and look at this error message here. As you can see, uh, the new iOS update is available. Please update from iOS beta 12. So look at that, it's almost the same message that we're seeing right here for iOS beta 14. So all I can think of is that maybe they're running a little bit late and they built this into the update and it's happening all over again. So what are you, what are you gonna do about this, right? Let's talk about, that we'll go from easiest to, to, the, to the more advanced. The first one, what we can do is we can just wait for Apple to fix this. Apple is going to come out with an update, probably even late tonight or early tomorrow or maybe during the daytime tomorrow to fix this. And all you'll need to do is update to that iOS 14 beta 5 and it'll take care of this issue, it's done. So if you wanna have some patience, that's number one fix. Number two fix, if you're just having this and, and they're still taking a little bit of time to do it, I've got another little way that we can do this. So let's hit close on this button here. We'll go Go into the settings we're going to go into the date and time and we're going to fake this thing out a little bit to think that it's not the current date and not it's not about to expire so now we'll go into date and time and let's turn that off automatically and i know exactly when this started happening so as you can see it's 11 19 on the 29th now if i put it back to the 27 or 28 i'm still going to get the message because that's what it's programmed into there but if i go back to the 26 i'm not going to get the message anymore so let's get out of here. I'll lock the phone and we'll unlock it here. And look at that, no more message. Now, keep in mind though, you, you gotta understand that when we do this, this is only temporary because this could this could screw up a couple other things operating on your phone. I'm not sure how that's gonna affect the backups or other uh, websites or photos that you're gonna take or games or whatever that you might be using that needs a, that's very particular about that date and time. Um, let's go into Safari and see if we can get a website to load. So here's Google here. Let's see if we can get to YouTube. And it looks like everything's loading okay, only going back a couple of days. We'll go to another site here. We'll go to apple.com. We'll make sure that loads okay. And it looks okay. And I noticed some of the other people mentioned that, oh, just put it back a month. That's when you start getting SSL errors on launch. So that's it. And then when the update comes out, I'll let you know. All you got to do is go back here, go into back in the date and time and set time automatically. Boom, it puts it back. And we're probably going to get the error message right away. See if we get that or not. We'll close it again. And look at that, we got it. So that's number two. Now number three is, let's say you're playing around with this beta and you had some fun with it, but you're like, you know what? I don't wanna really mess around with this anymore. I wanna get the heck out of here. So all you really need to do is restore from your backup. And all you need to do is put your phone into DFU mode and then plug it into Mac OS in Finder. You can open that up and you can hit restore from backup. It'll bring you back to 14.1 production version and then you're back. You don't have any other issues. But again, I recommend just waiting a little bit or moving the date and time back and then you're all fixed up until the next beta comes out. I hope this video helped you guys. If you, if you liked it and it created value for you, click on that subscribe button so you can get more information from me in the future. Have a good day.